Hello Gemini and welcome to your September 2023 monthly tower reading for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, the reading will be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So let's see what we have for Gemini for the month of September. Angel Spirits Guides. So I'm going to pull an overarching energy. We're going to look at some general energies then. And then look specifically at love, romance, relationships and money, career, finances and any other thread that comes out. So we have the lovely Empress as at the beginning of your reading. This is your overarching energy. The Chariot. Strength. Seven of Pentacles. And we have the Two of Wands. Let's see what we have for Gemini. Thank you. Love, romance, relationships. Message for our lovely Geminis. Thank you. We have the Page of Cups. And we have the Nine of Cups. Let's see what we have in terms of money, career, finances. What do we have for Gemini? Thank you. King of Wands can be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female, or the energy of the card. Get one more card in terms of money career for the King of Wands, please. We can all manifest as court cards in general readings. We have the Four of Wands. I feel these, these messages are connected. I mean, ultimately, Spirit will say what it wants to say, ultimately. So this feels like... Um, it feels the cards are kind of talking to each other. Let's see what we have. I'm going to pull you an angel answer card. Message for Gemini. Remain positive. Let's do love, romance, relationships. Message for Gemini. We have give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. And let's pull a money card as well. Message for our lovely Geminis. Thank you. Successful funding. Your idea is divinely guided and supported by the same infinite wisdom of God that gave you the idea. Do not allow money concerns to prevent you from turning it into reality. Crowdfunding partnerships and other investments are available to you. Lovely energy. So let's put you additional messages and see what else we get for you. Power animal. Snake, healing. You are a healer. Now, snake energy for me as a reader is transformation as well. It's about shedding an old skin, letting go of the old, embracing the new. It could well be that's the path to healing for you if you let go of something. Let's see what we have. What do we have for Gemini? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Let's pull you a number. Pride, number 19. And let's have a look at your fortune cookie. What do we have for Gemini? Thank you. Message for Gemini. Luck. A sudden change of luck is likely. Things are working in your favor. 
Excellent time for networking. Well, that's lovely. We have burnout. Your hard work will see results, but your health needs to be maintained. So check with your doctor, dentist and health professional and try to maintain a healthy lifestyle. All right, Gemini. So the Empress, it's a lovely energy. The Empress represents new abundance. Whether you're seeking the new, whether you're moving from a job to another or potentially even exploring opportunities to get the new in. The Empress represents the creative creation of something new. Very good in terms of money, career, finances. You can see she's surrounded by a harvest. And this is just the very beginnings of something that, that holds that chance to grow your own harvest, potential to plant new seeds, the new coming into your life, the creation of something new. So it's a, it's a lovely energy here. There could well be that sense of new abundance, positive change happening, the beginnings of something new in money, career, finances. It can also be a very positive time to start your own business as well. Now the Strength card and the Seven of Pentacles, yeah, I think that you have been looking at your options. Again, the Seven of Pentacles can be you persevere on a path. That will be that you've been looking at options, looking at opportunities, investing your time in pursuing them, and it's taken a great deal of strength and courage to do that, certainly for those of you wanting to find new employment. For those of you wanting to move from one job to another, again, you're taking stock and evaluating. And again, this can be very positive in terms of looking at opportunities and options with the strength to face things that need to be faced in terms of whether you want to continue on the path that you're on or make some changes. Because the two of wands does represent stepping into the unknown. It can be, you know, um, you've taken steps, you've made choices and decisions, you know. So this, this is a strong sense of stepping into the unknown, you know, moving beyond the current situation that you're considering here. Now, the chariot is a card of victory, triumph and success for you here, Gemini. This is either one of two things. This is the energy here of the thing that you've taken steps towards, taking the world in your hands, you might be waiting to see if you're going to be victorious or not. The chariot um, is telling you that you're going to be victorious. Similarly here, you might, you might get some success. This can be success coming into you, but it presents, presents a predicament. And that would likely be, am I happy in my current circumstances? Do I want it now? Or will I stay where I am or do, where I am? Or do I step into the unknown? It's the energy of knowing your worth and nothing less than that, seeing where real abundance lies, where you don't feel lack, where you feel that sense of fulfillment, contentment, and the potential that you can really thrive in an environment. So this is really looking at, you know, your current circumstances, the work that you're putting into it, the opportunities they're exploring. And for those of you wanting to find new, it can be, you know, perseverance and the strength and courage to do that. For others of you, you're really taking a long, hard look at where your current circumstances lie, your current employment, whether you're happy with it, and do you want to make changes? There's going to be a significant crossroads presented to you either way. So however that manifests for you, because victory is coming in, and it, it's linking with stepping into the unknown in some way, either breaking free of a situation where you've been trying to find new employment and letting go and finding that sense of recovery. And for others of you, it is, and it can also be, you know, what, what this victory takes the form of or success takes the form of, is it right for me or not? Is this what I want to do? And again, it's, it, it can be very positive in terms of, do I stay or go in that respect? So you're going to be at some kind of crossroads. It's 
what gives you the greatest potential to grow is what I'm seeing here. Because the King of Wands is a natural born leader, you know, very good in terms of business, career, finances. Uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, male or female, confident, charismatic, driven. It can really be any sign, somebody who manifests as that, exciting to be around, inspirational. Um, so this might well be a person who holds opportunity for you in business, career, finances. I feel that celebration is definitely linked with that here because again, the four of wands can be a celebratory energy. Um, it's very good in terms of the home, the founder, the relationship, you on your own. There could well be that sense of celebration, four corners of stability and security because there are positive, there's a chance of the new in money, career, finances, new abundance. And when I look at these cards here, Gemini, the message with the Page of Cups and the Nine of Cups, you're getting your wish. The Page of Cups is a lovely energy here of, of a very positive, uplifting message coming in. In money career finances, it could even be a bit of unexpected or take you by surprise or be a nice surprise in some way. But the Nine of Cups is you're getting your wish. So likely if you've been pursuing options, something is coming in where you're getting what you want. You're getting your wish. Again, there could well be some choice and decision whether you want to take it or not, or if it's right for you. But ultimately, a crossroads is going to be presented either way, and there's a lot of uplifting celebratory energies on this side of the table. So that's what I have for you in terms of, <laughs> I feel something has been, I mean, burnout we can have in our current place of work. It could be burnout trying to find that as well. Either way, it definitely feels here that you want to make the right choice in terms of where you're moving forward if you're stepping into the unknown you want to make sure it's right for you but i feel with luck coming in whatever this new abundance is it's it's it feels like you're catching that sense of a lucky break it's appearing in your life for a reason and i feel you're being told to strongly consider it because again the snake energy can be we shed an old skin we let go of the old and we embrace the new even for some of you, this sense of healing, for some of you, health and healing could have played a part that could have affected your money, career, finances as well. So again, the same message would apply. You might be now considering options to even get back into work. And you're wondering if you're going to be victorious in while you're pursuing options. This can be an energy here of, of again, taking steps, but victory coming in and even some kind of choice is it the right kind of success is it the right kind of victory i feel whatever is coming in is you're being told to remain positive because you're, you're getting successful funding you're getting the abundance that you need so that's what i'm seeing for you here gemini a situation has been burnt out or you've been, you've suffered burnout and I think that's what you made you take steps. Now, and I feel that there's a nice, it feels like a, a very happy surprise coming in. Let's have a look at love, romance, relationships. Because the Empress is as an energy is, is the birth of something new, very good in terms of new or renewed love, romance, relationships. So the new is available to you here, or renewed. And again, this sense of fulfillment, this sense of the beginnings of something that could, you know, potentially go somewhere here, or has real potential around it. The Seven of Pentacles with a Strength card, somebody taking stock and evaluating here. How far you've come, what you've put time and energy into here. And looking at things in truth, in terms of whether you want to continue on this path or whether you want to make some changes. And I feel that with the Two of Wands, you're at that point here, Gemini, of, of potentially whether to stay or go. 
with a chariot, it's it's about overcoming difficulties, challenges, and moving in a, in a direction of where you see triumph and victory. It can be about moving on from a scenario. It can also be a chance to overcome issues and difficulties between you, come through the other side of it. So this can be an energy if there's a choice or a gateway in terms of what you want to do. And it feels more like staying or going. With the Page of Cups and the Nine of Cups, this is somebody saying we can absolutely get that happiness back or this time it will be different. This time you will be treated as the Empress. The Empress doesn't really suffer fools, doesn't, doesn't really entertain anything less than she deserves. Again, divine feminine energy, but this is, this is the energy here of the birth of something new that you won't regret. You know, this is what this person is saying to you. This time it will be fulfilling for you. This time I will make sure it's going to be fulfilling for you. And that the healing could be part of this process here, Gemini. In this sense of pride, this is about looking at the situation head on and not letting pride get in the way of doing what's right, in saying what's right, in expressing what's right. And I feel somebody who's connected to you is doing that. Again, this can be vice versa as well. King of Wands, action orientated energy, uh, very charismatic, like I said, confident, driven, passion. There's a lot of passion with the King of Wands, um, excitement as well you know but with the four of wands four of wands can be about home family relationships four corners of stability and security this is the energy of giving it a chance starting over in the home the family the relationship and seeing how it goes but with the view here this is the birth of something new that you're expecting a level of, of fulfillment moving forward in this, this energy and I feel that you have a choice or decision to make in whether you want to do that or not. But it feels you might be entertaining giving somebody a chance. And, you know, luck works in a number of ways. You know, luck can happen when we might go through a difficult time with a person and they see the error of their ways and it's a lucky thing because they can be given a chance to change and make things right in some way and that's what I'm seeing here sometimes the empress energy comes in greater fulfillment is born out of challenge in some way and when we overcome challenges and difficulties we grow we evolve um we look at, you know, our own behavioural patterns, our own insecurities, our own limitations, and we have a chance to overcome them and grow as a result of that. And this is what I'm seeing here. If so, sometimes, like I say, from the most challenging scenarios, something beautiful is born. This is about learning lessons and bringing growth to a situation as a result of that. And that can actually be very a lucky thing sometimes. So however that manifests for you. So I'm going to pull one more card. This is either, I feel that this is either wondering whether you're going to stay or go. If this is someone returning back into your life in some way and wanting to start over with you again and wanting to return home, it can be choosing whether you want to do that or not and whether you think you can overcome the challenges between you or not too. But healing is asked for here in its basic form in terms of love, romance, relationships. This is one of those things, you know, where sometimes challenges make us stronger. And sometimes people go through challenging situations and realise, especially if they're not with somebody at the time, 
they go through their own chat. Say if somebody walked away, you know, and they went and did whatever they did, and then that didn't work out for them, and they had a, a challenging experience, that can be quite lucky because they realise what the original person meant to them, and that's what I'm seeing here. So, however this manifests for you, whether it's somebody in your current atmosphere or even somebody returning, the message remains the same. It feels like they're swallowing their pride and expressing their, what, how they feel, wanting to heal between you. Queen of Cups, yeah. The additional message with this, the Empress and the Queen of Cups can also be mother energy. Uh, so it might well be that you're asking advice from a mother, or this could be linked with a mother in some way. Um, healing between families in some way, or family and relationship in some way, or you and family. So this can be, it's the same message. And the message still would be, don't let pride get in the way for you or them. But the Queen of Cups is also highly intuitive as an energy. Uh, so I feel in this scenario here, you just know, you just know what you want to open your heart up to. You're highly intuitive in what brings balance to your life. You're highly intuitive in terms of manifesting money, career, finances for yourself. So this is a very intuitive energy, also a very balanced energy as well. And we have the Page of Pentacles starting something new. Again, the Empress is the beginnings of something new. The Page of Pentacles can be very positive in terms of starting over, can be in terms of love, romance, relationships. It can also be very positive as a message in money, career, finances. Very good in terms of opportunity. Uh, the beginnings of something new for you. The beginnings of new abundance. Change, the new coming in, is the Page of Pentacles. All right, let's pull you a message from Spirit. Final message. Well, actually, my message from Spirit for Gemini. Thank you. I've got two cards. Breathe. The breath is vital. Is a vital bridge between your body and soul. It's the connection between the inside and the outside, connecting you to the universe, Spirit, and to the divine source. The breath permeates your entire being with prana which is the same life-giving force that nourishes everything in the universe. We have Just Ask. There are many here in the spirit world that can assist you at this time. We are made up of your divine source, loved ones, friends, guides, angels and spirit helpers who are waiting to assist you. We are your spiritual team and all you have to do is ask for our help. All right, Gemini, let's see what we have as a final message. Final message for Gemini. And I feel you're, you're taking stock and evaluating whether you want to stay in a relationship or not, or whether to take somebody back. Either way, you're in control. Again, the two of wands, the world is in your hands. You decide what happens next. So we have Frog stepping into your power. Don't take a backseat in your story. It's time to step up. And we have Wolf Heart Medicine. Let go of that which does not serve your highest good. That's what I have for you, Gemini, for the month of September. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful month. I will see you next time.